Today we will prepare the famous coke oven, coke in a red wine. It's a traditional, very old dish and you need to try to do this once in your life because it's a very, very tasty dish. You can also apply for this recipe for any wild animals. It's long to cook, but if you follow my steps, it's not so complicated and the result is very, very, very amazing. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef! Hi, I'm Chef Vivienne, French Chef. Today we will cook coq au vin. Coq with wine. Coq in wine. With this nice coq. True coq. So the famous dish that all the world wants to know how to cook. Coq au vin, the famous recipe. We'll do today and at the end of the video you will see the secret ingredient to make the very best sauce you ever try. To be honest, French people do not, do not cook every day huh? because it's a long process and it's not easy sometimes to find coq, true coq, the male, old male. So it's not so easy and it's, it takes a, a time to marinate and after to cook. You can even cook during 24 hours marinade and cook 48 hours so it's a long time but when you try it believe me after you want to try once again so before marinade our coke of course we need to cut it i already cut another half for another moment for another recipe so now I will cut this half to show you. So we start with the leg. This place is called Soliles, the tender. So don't forget to take it. And we follow the leg. Uh, it's a farmer cook. Uh, you see how red is the meat. Not like a chicken. Uh, it's a little bit fat. It's very red, very nice. So this will be full of collagen, collagen, so it will be very tasty. So this we finish, we cut, we separate leg and a part of leg. I let this like this, full. And this part, cut a piece with the bone and all the other piece without the bone, this way. And you have three portion. Three portion with the leg. And now we make three portion with the breast and the wing. When you follow the V bone, you arrive directly to the separation of the wing here, like this. Up. I let a little piece of thoracic bone in order to give taste and a little bit to protect the meat of the breast. So here the wing, we will cut this, this skin. Voilà. It will be more comfortable when you will fry it. We let a little piece of breast, for instance, like this. And this we cut in two pieces. And we cut the bone. And we have the breast and the wing in three pieces. So with half of cock, we make six portion. This is the victory bone. And that's all. This we will make a stock. In the marinade now, we put some clove in the onion. This is here. We take onion and we cut mirepoix. It's cube of one centimeter. As well, carrot. Voilà. 
It's not scientific hein, because it's only aromatic garnier. Garnish. Of course, we have garlic. Voilà, without green art. Black pepper. Thyme. Bay leaves. And of course, red wine. Strong, nice red wine from Cabernet, from Syrah, from Malbec. Which you like. Which you find. Voilà, one bottle for half coke. So two bottles for one big coke. We are from Gascoigne, so we put a little bit of Armagnac. You can put some whiskey, why not? Or some cognac. It's not obligation, but I used to add a little bit of Armagnac in the marinade. It's not the secret ingredient that you will see at the end of the video. It's another one. And we add some oil, some sunflower oil or olive oil to protect all this marinade like in old times. In the old time it was not film or food wrap, so people use oil to protect, to make a protection all of the food like this, because of course oil is floating, so it is making a protection of ingredients inside. So now we take this and put in the fridge for 24 hours, it's better. If you don't have time, one big night, 12 hours. If you have time, even you can put it for 48 hours, two days, yes. And it will be stronger taste. And after we'll cook it. The next day. Our cook have stay, stayed in the fridge for one day, 24 hours. And now we will fry, fry it in a pan special for ragu. This is a long time cooking, will be a long time cooking. So now we need to fry it. As you can see, the meat became quite red. Look up. Voilà, this is the color change, quite black. So this will give a very nice taste to our cook. And now we fry in a hot pot with sunflower oil. If you have duck fat, you can use. And nice sound of Maillard reaction when something became caramelized. We need to get a nice color, quite brown. And you don't need to put more than one layer of, of uh, cook. We fry from both sides. Ah, look this nice color, quite black. Must be like this. So now we filter the marinade. Marinade. We need to filter it in order to get only the solid, the carrots, onion that we will fry also in the pan. So we put aromatic garnier to fry. So now we need to singe it to, to add some flour on top of your ragu like this. Voilà, this way, little bit and one spoon for half cook, so two spoon for a full cook. And we need to little bit fry it. Usually this step you can make it also in oven and to toast your flour in the oven, in the hot oven. We call it torréfié, but you can just do only in, in gas, in fire like this. So now we can put our wine from marinade and deglaze. Cook is quite covered. So now we deglaze. Deglaze is to take all the, the juice, the caramelization of our cook when we fried it, all what is stuck to the bottom. And now we bring to boil. This recipe also fits very well for wild animals with red meat. Now it's boiling since three, four minutes. So we can add a little bit of 
good nice brown veal stock till quite to, to come back to cover the cock can be also chicken brown stock you can make with the bones of the cock which is remaining yourself but basically uh, or veal stock or beef stock but brown color brown don't forget to put little bit salt little bit because this will reduce a lot of time so just a little bit of salt and we come back to boil we slow down fire and we cover and we will cook at least for four and a half five hours depend of your cook but around this time four five hours me it's a minimum in a low in oven or or in a, in your gas in your fire very low fire or in oven at 140 degrees celsius it's the very very traditional recipe like is slow cooking recipe one day two day in the chimney and in gascogne till one week between christmas and new year the next day our cook already cooked quite five hours at 140 degrees stop stay cool down one more time two hours 120 degrees stop cool down and the day after which is today two hours 120 degrees stop and now we prepare and we follow the process the meat now is very tender really really tender so we make decanté in french like for wine we take the solid part in a place and stay the liquid part in another place why it's in order to finish to thick the sauce to add the secret ingredient we close with the lid we keep in a warm place and we finish the sauce so now we filter all the strainer chinois so in order to get only the liquid smells very nice now we bring back the sauce in his pot to finish the sauce uh, we in the very old times they use beef blood but now it's very difficult to find we will fix the sauce with old old system which is beurre manier butter and flour one for one like a roux but we don't make a roux we just mix butter and flour to make like a kind of dough and this dough we will put it in our boiling sauce little by little to make it thick just before to seek the fix the sauce we need to degrease degrease take off the fat uh, it's boiling and in around all the pot uh, you take it out from the surface to make a very nice sauce so now we can add our beurre in a boiling liquid very important little pieces by little pieces as you can see our sauce is quite thick but need little bit more but it's on purpose because we will let it half an hour meanwhile we finish the garnish now we will make the garnish of the cocoven with little onions in this case they are marinated like pickles carrots and mushrooms the carrots will be glazed i decide today to make little little balls you can make little cubes of course this we will not throw away we will make some stock so we put the carrots we put a little bit of butter little bit of salt little bit of sugar little bit of water cold water you almost cover carrots and we put to cook we take baking 
paper we fold it in two parts like this we take the center and we fold it in like a cone like this Whoop. we need to see the radius of the pan we cut the size we make little hole here and we have a cartouche it's boiling we put it on the top it's better than the lid because a little part of the steam is going out little by little and this we will cook gently for around 15 minutes in a medium fire it's an old classic process of a French kitchen that we learn in school it's glaze glaze it's to glaze some vegetables it can be carrots, it can be turnip, it can be radish, it can be little onions, shallots. So we take homemade bacon, we cut a nice slice, we remove the skin, it is a little bit salty, so we will cut lardon and we will blanch it. So we put in a cold water and take it out immediately and after we can we will fry them if your bacon is from supermarket it is not so salty you can avoid this step of course now we need to cut mushrooms escalope this way 45 degrees this way 45 degrees like this and like this when it's average mushroom in four pieces when it's a little bit bigger you can make in six pieces this way in order to make them all the same size our bacon is blanched now we put the bacon to fry in a fry pan i fry gentle fire slow fire voila little by little and the fat we will use to fry our mushrooms our bacon is roasted we remove so now we need to fry our mushrooms in the same fat fate from the bacon. Voila, we fry. Salt. Pepper. Little bit of more oil. Now we will do onion. We put some butter. We put some onion. And sugar. And this will be kind of, it's a kind of express glaze. If you don't have this cooking onion grelo, you can put shallot and do the same process like the carrots. And if you don't find, you don't put onions till they are caramelized. We just need to finish the sauce with the secret ingredient and it will be finished. Here we have all the little garnish, so with the onions, the bacon, the carrots, the mushrooms. You let it like this in a warm place and you have all to make the dressing and to put a little bit of them in top of your coke oven when you will serve it. Our secret ingredient, it's time to discover it. What is it? What is it? Chocolate. We will chop it a little bit like this. We chop it like this. I recommend a dark strong chocolate as minimum 60-65% cacao. This chocolate you put in a bowl. You take a little bit of your sauce, you put it on the chocolate and you whisk. So now we put it back in the sauce little by little and we stop the fire. Huh? There is no fire, it's making sound but it's no fire. So now we can come back to put the sauce on top of the coke. Dressing, it's your game, it's your own imagination. I like to present like this. You can take all the pot, put all the garnish on the top, put some parsley and bring like this to the table because this is a familial dish for big table with 10, 12 people. Or you serve burp plate by plate and try to make it nice with all products that you can see. I add some parsley to, to give some fresh and green uh, color. It will be the best coke oven that you will try, you will see. Our guests now will try 
coco, vean. Gustillo, mm. opa. Mm. It's so good, it's so rich in taste. I've never tried the uh, coco vin. Uh, me too, it's the first time I try uh, coco vin. Oh, the coco vin. <laughs> and it's so good. And it's super good. So and, good. And, and it's, it's super good with Pinot Noir. And it's different from chicken. Yes, it's not chicken, it's great, coke. Great experience. Thank yes. you, Chef. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. chef.